Over 200 business professionals from the UK and China have gathered in Manchester to explore potential opportunities for business cooperation and to feel the pulse of China's economic recovery since it lifted COVID restrictions about a year ago. China's ambassador to the UK was keen to provide a positive counterbalance to recent negative reporting of his country's economy. China's economic growth is now higher value added and greener. New energy vehicles, lithium batteries and photovoltaic products. China's AI industry has become a new technological engine for its growth. Today, the overall Chinese economy braced by its strong resilience, enormous potential remains promising and it will remain so in the long run. China is now Britain's fourth largest trading partner. Annual two-way trade volume surpassed 135 billion US dollars by the end of the second quarter, an increase of 8.5 percent. Renewable energy is playing a major role and is a strong contender for broader cooperation going forward. I think the technical development um, for renewables in China is very important. We're seeing China emerge as a leader in a number of areas. And we all share one planet. And so for me, it's important to engage in what's going on. That was part of the reason why I was there recently, to build those relationships. And if there's an opportunity to, for Chinese companies to export their technologies in the renewable space, I think we need to take a close look at that and figure out are there ways in which we can embrace that. The UK market is moving in a very aggressive way on renewables. I think the UK and China complement each other. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is on record as saying that the UK will not return to the close relationship seen under former Prime Minister David Cameron, who recently returned to government as Foreign Secretary. Clearly, we will not do anything that the UK government prohibits us from doing. It's just, but we will work as hard as we can to build positive relationships, which we've had for a number of years. We were very proud to welcome President Xi here in 2018. And uh, we want to just try and build on the relationships that we've been creating through the Manchester, Forum, Manchester China Forum for the last 10 years. China-UK relations have been strained over the past years. The British government has recently described China as an epoch-defining and systemic challenge to the UK. But before that, 70 years ago, a group of British entrepreneurs started the ice-breaking mission. And today, business professionals are just doing the same, trying to mend the strained relationship by boosting trade ties. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Manchester.